So the obesogens are really interesting. They're in microplastics, they're in our food supply, uh, water supply. These are chemicals that actually create fat cell, larger fat cells or fat human beings. It increases our, our body weight. And it does this because the body wants to survive. And when we have these toxins, these obesogens enter the body through a food supply, water supply, uh, heck, our cleaning supplies, detergents, they're everywhere in the air from jet fuel. The body does not want these toxins to freely circulate in the bloodstream. So it activates a pathway. And the body does this because the solution to pollution is dilution. I want to dilute these toxins and throw them in your fat cells. And if there's not room in your fat cells, well, I'll just increase the size of your fat cells. And if that's already full, hey, I'll create new fat cells. And these are how toxins create fat human beings and animals, by the way. Let's say somebody has a whole bunch of toxins, they start to exercise more, eat less, they're on an extreme protocol, so they're starting to burn fat. But what happens? You have a whole bunch of toxins in those fat, and you could burn fat, you can't burn these toxins, so you start to dump these toxins, and your metabolism realizes every time we burn fat, we dump toxins and we auto-intoxicate ourselves, so I'm gonna slow down fat burning, and now you have weight loss resistance. So these are problematic because they're everywhere.